Is this the greatest May 4th promo LEGO has ever done? Let's find out. everybody, the Brickologist here with another new LEGO Star Wars set review. Today we have set number 40686, Trade Federation Troop Carrier. This set was the free gift with purchase set for May 4th, 2024, when you spent over $160 on LEGO.com or in LEGO stores. It contains 262 pieces, and here is a front look at your box with the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars branding, along with the 25th anniversary of Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace in the corner there. I love that additional logo. The back of the box showcases some of the play features this set contains. This set includes one instruction manual with 49 pages of building, and it's honestly kind of low quality paper compared to other modern day LEGO sets, which I found a bit disappointing. However, the front here does have a simple advertisement for the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars, but that's about it for this booklet. And here is the completed set itself. You get eight minifigures along with the main build and a 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars printed brick which looks very nice however it's kind of left alone by itself here there's no stand to put it on so it feels like a very random inclusion and I picture a lot of people just losing this brick at some point in time I think they could have integrated this into the build a little bit better let's kick off the close-up of this review with the minifigures included you get six battle droids here I think all of us know exactly what these figures look like after 25 years of Lego Star Wars, but I will never complain about getting more of them to build my grand army for the Trade Federation. More interestingly, the second figure included here, which you get two of, is the pilot battle droid, and this is a brand new version of this figure that is exclusive to this set. That torso print is completely redesigned, and it looks fantastic. And now it's time to look at the Trade Federation Troop Carrier itself, which is a direct remake of the 2001 version of this set, set number 7126. And I really love this idea and how LEGO was able to modernize that exact design. The brown color scheme of the old set was kept intact, which honestly isn't as accurate to the in-universe model, but I just like the idea of LEGO having this connective tissue between sets 23 years apart. The front of the troop carrier here looks very solid. You can put both of your exclusive pilot droids right there, which is nice. I do like this light design that can move up and down. The one little issue I have here is I don't like this exposed stud underneath that piece, but other than that, it looks really good. Transition towards the middle. I like the use of these modern pieces right here to give it a nice curved aesthetic. I think that looks really cool. And similar design techniques continue all the way along towards the back of this vehicle, which I think looks very fantastic. And this design here is accurate to the movie and looks really good as well. But of course, this is a troop carrier, so let's demonstrate how it carries troops. There's no crazy mechanism or anything. You basically take this entire chunk here and remove it from the back. It's simply slides out like so. It's actually not even connected to anything on the build. That does leave the brown base of the vehicle looking a bit empty. It also kind of resembles a tuning fork, if you ask me. But now we can take a closer look at where the battle droids are being kept. Now you can see that these sliding parts right here are in green, and normally I would rip Lego to shreds for having such a strange color choice. However, this is another direct reference to the original set from 2000 and one. That one, for some reason, also used green pieces for the sliding element, so I actually kind of love that. Up front here is where you have storage for all their guns, which works very nicely, and behind that is where the battle droids can be deployed from. I will say it's a little bit finicky getting them onto this thing. Additionally, you can kind of mess with the pose. On the box, the battle droids have their heads up, which I thought looked very awkward, so I decided to fold them up a little bit more for my personal design. Display. You can also fold down both of these side panels. Doesn't really accomplish anything, but it does give it some movement. Finally, it's very easy to slide your battle droids back onto the troop carrier itself, and your vehicle is ready to go fight some Gungans. So is this the best LEGO Star Wars made the fourth promo they've ever done? I think as a complete product, 
yes, it actually is. If you're part of the crowd that wants exclusive minifigures, you get two of them here with these brand new designs for the blue pilot droids, which I think is fantastic. Now, I will say I won't be surprised at all if this figure appears in future sets, but as it stands for 2024, it's looking like it's only going to be in just this one promo. On the flip side, if you're part of the camp that wants a substantive build as the promo, well, you get one here. This thing has over 250 pieces, and I absolutely absolutely love, once again, how it is a direct reference to the old version of this set. And finally, if you just like LEGO Star Wars and don't care about all those semantics, you just get a really darn cool promo here. Besides some small nitpicky flaws, the only real frustration I can see with this set is LEGO not actually releasing it for retail around 30 US dollars. Instead, they've locked it behind the paywall of a $160 gift with purchase. This would have been a fabulous set to army build but because it is a promo, the aftermarket prices now are currently around $75. That will probably drop a little bit once the hype dies down, but still, it's likely going to be around double what its expected value is, which I find very unfortunate. I would have liked to have actually gotten a lot of this set. I did get two, which is great because I did multiple May 4th orders, but still, definitely not ideal. However, that takes nothing away from the actual quality of the set at hand. All things considered, I think this is peak when it comes to LEGO Star Wars made the fourth promos. I love this set and I am so happy LEGO did something like this. This is fantastic and I hope they continue this trend in the future. This set gets a glowing review of a 9 out of 10 from me. Those are just my thoughts though. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching today's review. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out. God bless. Bye bye